what is up guys it's your boy scooter back again with another video and today i just received the uh, external battery this is the extreme series uh, power bank so this external battery has 23,000 milliamps so this battery is so big that it can pretty much charge a laptop I'm not exactly how if it uh, can charge the laptop all the way up to 100% but I know um, that's what it said on the instructions but I'm not 100% sure because all laptops vary but Let's go ahead and get into it, but this thing is huge. This Now, this thing is, I say, is about uh, seven inches long and about four inches uh, with width-wise. So, let's go ahead and look at the box. But anyway, it says it's by RAV Power, so it's reliable, affordable, and value. And then, on the top, there's pretty much... Just a couple stuff, you know, quick charge, USB charge, high capacity, pretty much all the simple stuff. And then here on the back, um, it shows you that you can charge a laptop up, a tablet, a cell phone, MP3 players, uh, PSP. I think this thing might have been out for a while because we don't even call it PSPs anymore. We call it PS Vita. But anyway, this is the very, very huge capacity thing, as you can see, 23,000 milliamps. So I'm sure this thing could charge up, if you were just using this for a cell phone, I'm sure this thing could charge it up at least, uh, at least maybe 10 times at the most. But on this thing, it does have an LCD, that way it shows you the voltage and how much you have left. Um, you can change the output voltage, from like 9 volts to 12 volts, 16 volts, 19 and 20. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. Now, here we go. Look at that. This thing is huge. Might have to tilt the camera back just a little bit so I can get it all in the frame. But here it is. This is the RAF Power um, 23,000 milliamp battery. Still got the plastic and everything on it. But I put that to the side so we can see what's all in the box. But here we have probably just some accessories and stuff. A ton of accessories, you know, because you have the charger for the main device. Now, you, with this device, you cannot charge it with USB. You have to plug it into the wall. And then here's the little adapter for that. So you just slide it on like this. And then you pull it up, take it off. And then you just have a couple cords and stuff to, um, to charge other devices and stuff. Here's your USB. And then you just stick these little adapters in here to charge up stuff. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure this is the the pin for the old iPhones, iPhone 4s and 4s. And then you just got a bunch of, just a bunch of different adapters that are in there. Then I'm sure these adapters probably go with mainly laptops and stuff. Cause I've seen a lot of laptops that had cords with these yellow tips on it. And then you got your instructions and stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much it for that. And then they also threw in a free pouch for your device. So all you do is you just take the device and stick it in there. And then you're off to go this stuff out the way and get back to the device but that's pretty much you did you just slide it in there and then you're ready to go but anyway let's go ahead and see how much power we have in the device so we have 100% battery now I was look I was just scrolling through uh, the other day on YouTube and 
Oh, I guess we don't have 100%. I guess we got 76%. Yeah, 76%. And then you can change the different uh, voltage. Like right now, I can change it to what, 12? Yeah, 12, 16, and 19, and then 20. And then back down to 9. But that's pretty much it. That's This is pretty cool, I think. But anyway, you have your ports here. Um, your two USBs so you can charge whatever devices and then on one of these is your input and output so with this one you would use this one to charge the whole thing up and then you would use this one to charge other devices with uh, with the adapter but let's go ahead and take this plastic off oh man the sound of the plastic Anyway, nice glossy black. Pretty much is going to be fingerprint prone. So be sure to have that on here. But anyway, the front is made out of aluminum, I believe. Because, yeah, it has, I wish the whole thing could have been made out of aluminum instead of having a plastic back. But on the back, it shows you the extreme series that it has 23,000 milliamps. And see if I can charge up a device real quick. But anyway, you just get these cords and you just plug it into, plug it in. Like that song, I forgot what it's called. Plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> uh, I don't think they gave me an adapter for the micro S, micro SD. Uh, I don't think so. But anyway, I'm gonna just grab one out of my bag. Anyway, I got one uh, that goes with the actual device. So, like I said, you basically you just plug it in and charge the device up. Got it upside down and charging. And we are ch charging. So as you can see, the device is now charging up this external battery. So an external battery charging up another external battery. Hi, uh, how ironic. But anyway, that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys what this thing is. And I'm going to be doing a review on this thing. Because I thought this thing is pretty cool. I mean, 23,000 milliamp hours. This thing is big enough to charge a laptop. That is crazy. I've never seen anything like this before. At least not this big of 23,000 milliamp hours. But like I said, it's just a quick video. And if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. I will have more content coming and more unboxings and stuff. So maybe be even doing a giveaway pretty soon because i just hit 100 uh subscribers so be sure to check that out uh follow me on twitter because sometime i'm on there and that's most of the time where i post some of the stuff uh so i guess i'll catch you guys in the next one peace